What's up everybody, my name is Nick Burnham and welcome back to uh, part 3 of my Let's Play Wizardry 8 on Expert. Uh, last time we beat the King Crab and then we ran back here to get our day's rest. And in this video I think we'll try to tackle a, an even tougher enemy if you can believe it. Uh, I'm almost certain we'll probably die once against him, but you never know. It is wizardry. And the odds can be in your favor. But that's just what I'm going to guess. I uh, can't close those doors again. All uh, right. I'm going to leave that closed. Uh, first, we're going to go grab something that will be very useful. That I pointed out earlier in uh, the first part, I think. Yes? Sorry, it's been a couple days since I played. Uh, looks like everybody has a ranged weapon. All right. Look, a creature. Oh no, a creature. Okay, first we're going to go over here. This little jobby. And make sure uh see if there's anything on this ledge. Okay. Make sure you uh, go over here before you press that red button. Cuz I'm not sure there's a way to get uh this bridge to come back down. See that button raises the bridge up there, which is important to do later but first you want to come down here and pick up this stuff um yes she's got a ton of healing potions let's give it to him more stamina stuff we can do Very well. oh it's ale i don't remember what ale does booze power one i have no idea probably lowers intelligence but like raises betcha there's a trap something i don't know Bet you there's a trap. Um, yes. What now? Well. This isn't good. All set. Ready and willing. Yes. Yes. Let's see. We'll give the cap to somebody with more hit points. Um, Very well. Actually, and who's got the knock what picks? Now? He does. Okay. So we use the. I'm not sure if they work on traps actually. Cast on a trap chest, it tries to open the chest and circumvent the trap. Okay. Uh, let's try that. I'm on it. Damn. Ow. That hurt. Well, it opened anyway. Sometimes it doesn't even open and the trap resets. Uh, not bad. We got a crossbow and a bomb. You know, it's not the best stuff, but it's worth oh, coming shit. down here for. Let's use it. Healing magic. Yay. Very well. Um this bastard sword might be better than the long sword actually. Yeah. Awesome. And we'll can give the long sword to her. Um don't really have a shield for her yet, but that's okay. We need to learn identify so we can get the spell book soon. But we'll pick that up in a few levels. Uh, I'll give the bullet stones to him and the rest to him, her rather. Uh, I'll keep giving her these artifacts, but I'm not gonna have her use them until her artifact skill is a lot higher. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna raise this up now. And then we're gonna go down the waterfall. There's not really much of a waterfall at all, but. Okay, and here you do have to watch out for these fish. Now then, let's get to Tanika fish. But they're not all they're not all that bad, really. Aye. What level are they? Three? I guess they could be strong. I don't think they can surround us from here though. Uh, sleep. With pleasure. With pleasure. Use the loot. Breathe on him. Yes. All right. I wish you could set like mac <gasps> macros in this Nasty. game, so there are like preset actions for each I'll encounter. So I'm gonna turn down the audio a little bit. There we go. Nice. Probably wake up. 
Nice. All right, just wail on him. With pleasure. Uh, who's purple? Purple, you can shoot that I'm one. On it. It's only got seven hit points left. Green. If you say so. Let's do an energy blast. With pleasure. On the With pleasure. wake one. <gasps> oh. It's really hoping she'd kill it. He missed. Man. Yes. Yeah, he's still focused on it. One's got two hit points. Two energy With blast pleasure. on that one. Too far. With pleasure. If you say so. All right, that looks good. Yeesh. Man, that one's just not taking any damage. With pleasure. With pleasure. Uh. All right, just kill it. Come on. My little hobbit samurai. Aye, that's the game. Yay! Perfect. My status rises. Ah, beauty. Me skills be improving. Awesome. Let's do that. 80 intelligence already. 82. Uh, raise speed. Can we get another hit point out of here? Nope. Uh, you don't need senses so much. Just do another intelligence. All right, this is where things start to get interesting for uh, the mage. Um, I like all of these, Missile Shield especially. Web is probably one of my favorite spells in the game, though, because it's basically a mass paralysis. Uh, and it's better than sleep because uh, even if you hit them while they're webbed, if you hit enemies while they're webbed, they won't like break out of it or anything. Enchanted Blade is really good too, and Magic Missiles obviously is classic. Um, and as you can see, even though she is a mage, she can use divine spells. She can use all these spells. They're just not from the divine spell book. Um, although it's, there is some crossover. Tech secrets I don't really care so much about. Yeah, we're going to go with web. And that is earth magic. So we're going to have to raise that a bit. It'll be worth it, though. Honestly, I probably should have put a couple points into that before so we'd ha be able to use it now. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see. Raise that. It's magic. There we go. And our priest here. Pretty easy. And he can learn web now too. Uh, I'm gonna get identify though. And that's mental magic, which is great. Or not so great really, but um Yeah, we want more water magic too. Okay. So now that we have Identify, we can try and see what this book is. There we go, Book of Terror. Alright, and the mage already knows it. <laughs> but... Um, eventually, our uh, non-spellcasting characters will gain the ability to cast spells and they'll learn some rudimentary things, so we can teach terror to one of them. So it's not completely useless. All right, so now you'll recognize this is the starting area. We just drop down here, and we grab a magnificent specimen. Three resurrection what powders, now? which are awesome. And I always hesitate to give it to somebody, but I think we're gonna give it to the priest. Just apt enough. Oops. <laughs> I went off that edge a little bit too quickly. Um, Got to be careful about that. Uh, I think there's some crabs over there. All set. I'm just gonna heal up. Hopefully this works. 
All right. Oh, and they're heading towards us too. I'm really surprised the fairy didn't die there. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Uh, I fight. We can crush them like wood. Oh yeah, I agree with that statement. With pleasure. Now, like as you may have guessed, we do have to go all the way back up through uh, the monastery to where uh, we were. But it's definitely worth it for the resurrection powders at this point. This game is very stingy with yes. resurrection powder. All four of them got webbed the first time. Wow. That's insane. Three of them got sleeped. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. I'm surprised. Yes. Now you can just wail on them. Well, two of them got unwebbed, but... Uh, and she can't cast it again because it takes five spell Even points. For me. Even for you. With pleasure. Still. Uh, paralyze them. Um, I... I knew I put some points into With water for something. <laughs> Let's do it. There you go. Alcazar. Uh, nothing's working. That's okay. With pleasure. Energy blast. That With one. With pleasure. Yes. With pleasure. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to rest after this. Nice. That's a good bit of damage. And didn't even wake up. Got one of them, two. Alcazar. There you go. With pleasure. Nasty. Jeez. It's got one hit point left. And that was just enough. Oh come on. Eventually we will be able to hit more, I promise. <laughs> At least I hope so. I don't know. I've only, I have beaten this game, but I've only beaten it on novice. But I've played it so much that I feel pretty confident that we can get per fairly far. And you know, for the sake of the, of the video, if I do ever have to change the difficulty, I will. But I think it's more interesting this way because by now there are a few really good let's plays of this game out there. So I don't know how much I would be contributing if I just. I don't know if I just made a bare bones novice let's play, but at the same time, this game is so little known and so little watched. I feel We've got some bugs. Will be child's play. Crap. Well, that'll happen sometimes. At least they're just bugs, though. Could have been like ten rats that surrounded us, then we would have been dead. Come on. There you go. Nice. Yay. All right. Um all set. Let's heal her. And I'm going to try not to rest again. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Went backwards. I'm gonna try not to rest again until we get to that shortcut, which I think I actually left closed, so we might have to go all the way around again. Or no, because we removed the bar so we can open it, duh. We should be able to open it, yeah, there we go. Sorry, I'm spacing out a little bit here. Okay. Now, I don't know if we're really prepared for this fight, but we're going to give it our best shot. Lots of things can go wrong, but I really hope we don't get attacked. All right. Okay, here goes nothing. It's honestly probably one of the harder fights in the game, at least at the beginning. 
Here's the Gregor. And glory. Now he has a ranged attack, so we have to Aye. get close. Not that it really matters, because he's already here. Uh. Now he is level 5. Yeah. Count it. 5. Uh. And at this point, there is no shame in running away and hiding and grinding up a little bit. Which we might have to do. Especially if, if he kills the mage. Yeah, like that. <laughs> wow. That can happen if you have a fairy. <laughs> so yeah, that's what he's capable of. Uh, we are just gonna run on through to the other side. All right. I see something moving. Okay, run away. With pleasure. He will follow us for a short amount of time, but he won't follow us forever. I sincerely hope, anyway. Aye. Unlike in uh, most turn-based RPGs, when you run away, you actually do have to run away. <laughs> like. Yes. It's not just, oh, yeah, you have a chance to escape, and then the enemies suddenly disappear. Like, you actually have to run. I'm on it. And after you go a certain distance, monsters will usually, usually retreat back to um, where they were roaming, or they'll just get bored or whatever. Yes. And we'll get out of combat as soon as we get far enough away. There we go. Phew. And he'll end up walking back Very to, well. to wherever he was going. Cleaver hits 3 to 11. The sword was how much? Oh, she can't use it. She can't either. He probably can't either. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of axes so much in this game. Just how it worked out. Smelling salts are great. They wake people up, obviously. Uh, I'll give those to the mage. Priest. We have so many healing potions now. We can't open that yet, but we will be able to. Uh, let's see what this says. For emergency use only. That should give you a hint about what's in there. So we'll save here. Um, we may end up not even killing the Gregor at this point. I mean, it's possible that we could just avoid him altogether until we come back to the monastery later, because we do have to do that. Uh, but right now, we're going to go meet our first NPC of the game. As you can see, we raised this up, but the button here is broken. So there's no way to put it back down below, I believe. Uh, so if you miss that room over there the first time, then you just miss it all together. You know, not that it's the most important thing in the world, but it's nice to know. A careful look shows that this is no ordinary lock. The circular indentation appears to be fitted to receive only a very special key. And we won't pick that up for a little while, and probably not until we're like level 10 or so, at least. I always like this little walkway. I don't know why. I, th I like how it's you know, on the ridge here and with the water and cave below it. Now here's the starting oh, area no. again. More people. This area is very tightly designed, if you couldn't tell. I think it's one of the more interesting designed areas in the game, actually. You'll definitely see some cool hey, locales later, though. Was that you? That ship crash? Wow! I thought you were goners for sure. You're telling me. You ask me something real bad's going on, cause your ship wasn't the first to fall out of the sky. Now this is Burrs. Burrs is a Trini, and we can talk to him. Traveling salesman at your service. And he's a traveling salesman. <laughs> Trini are kind of like, I don't know, bipedal rodents. They're intelligent, but they're also kind of annoying. Well, there is a rumor that you might be the third messenger. Now, what he means by that is that I think is that we're the third group of people to be here or to come here looking for the uh, the holy or the ancient artifacts. That information's worth a little something. And of course, he's kind of a jerk, but twenty-five gold isn't much. It's isn't Garth, much. The Brotherhood, their temple, I guess. No one's in there now. They took off a while ago. They've got another temple in Arnica, though. A guy named Braffit runs it. Now, obviously... Hey, you been to Arnica yet? Uh, I haven't. 
Well, if you haven't got plans, that's a good place to go. There's all kinds of stuff happening there right now. It's just south of here. That is a good place to go, but it's not where we're going to go first right after this. Now, obviously, I know all this stuff already, but I like to hear uh, the dialogue just for the sake of the video. And I, I really like the voice acting in this game. Overall, I think it's really high quality. Nothing much to tell you. They're nice. In fact, I st uh, get most <laughs> of my stuff from them. He's a little crafty dude. Yeah, the Hagardi... We haven't seen any Hagardi yet, but I'll show you later. Um, now, we can actually type things like uh, stuff we don't even know about, like Dark Savant. I don't know too much about him, but he seems to have the Hagardi all upset. Maybe you could ask one of them. It's a good thing to know. And we can add him to our our voice... Uh, I don't know what you even call Nothing this. Much to tell you. Uh, let's ask about the planet. Of course, yeah, it's a big planet. I'm from Trenton, which is a ways away from here. Yeah, we won't get there for a while. Uh, what about the Destiny Dominus? Talk to the Shaman about that. He knows everything. Now, the Shaman is in Trenton. The, the Trinnies are kind of mystical that way. I don't know. They all have stabs like that. Um, where is... Where is Dominus? I'm not really sure. <laughs> What? Of course. I'm not. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Usually they're like, "You're standing on it." I'm not really sure. Well, it'd be funny if he knew. Uh, what else could we ask about? I don't know, Braffit. I know him. Yeah. So they don't say much sometimes, but it's a big step from like Wizardry Seven, where all you had was text. Um. Oh no. It's best if I travel alone. Helps me keep the overhead down and the stock up. Yeah, any merchant in the game you can't recruit, but it's nice to see that. You could pickpocket him, but I, I don't like to do that so much. Let's see what he has for sale. Uh, flail is probably better for the priest. All set. Yep. I don't know if we're going to buy it so much. Probably will. Shalala... Uh, that's what our fairy yes. has right now. He, oh, it's a fairy stick. Sleep 50%. Okay. It looks like a Shalala. Probably. Oh, I, I just bought it. But that's cool. Um, short bow. We don't need so much. Extra arrows are always nice to have. And they're so cheap, you might as well stock up a little bit. Uh, musket balls would be useful if we had a gadgeteer, um, but right now we don't, obviously. Uh, uh, we do need another shield for Ready the and bard, ready. right? Yep. By that, and the quilt tunic we could probably give to her as well. Um... I'll buy the hat. Is there anything else we need down here? Not so much. He's just loaded with ammo. Yeah, you can buy resurrection powders, but they're over 2,000 gold, which is ridiculous. And the pants. Alright, let's get her equipped with all this shit. Who do we give the hat? Uh, yeah, let's give that to Terabor. We'll give the Poser's hat to him again. Um, party items. Cloth pants. Uh, we need to equip the shield. I told you, there's a lot of inventory management in this game. Just never ends. Uh, can we give the crossbow to somebody? I feel like that would be advantageous. Let's give that to him. Neither of them can use a bow. Uh, didn't we? Yeah, we bought more quarrels. I thought so.
Uh, let's buy more corals, I think. Very well. And what can we sell? Uh, short sword and the robes. This bow we could probably get rid of. I don't know. We don't really need the money right now. That's not a big deal. Quarter staff. The sandals. And the shirt. Okay. I think that's all we're going to do with him. Now, you can attack any NPC in the game, but it's really unwise to attack Burrs right now. We might come back come and kill back him and later. See me if you need anything. Or I'll just create Goodbye. a. Bye. A separate save where we kill him and I'll just show you what happens, but it's pretty cool. Hammer Day the 21st. Strange objects in the night sky. Very odd. No landing scheduled at Arnica this week. Monday the 24th. More strange lights. Anzel made the announcement we are to leave the monastery. I have been ordered to take the key to Lord Breffitt and Arnica. Alas, this means the end of my stargazing. Now, I'm not sure if this is Burz's journal, if it's supposed to be, or I think it's just some random Hagardi brother. Who's this is supposed to be? Because he's just a traveling salesman, you know? You wouldn't think he'd have to do anything for Anselm. It's just weird that that book is here next to him. I don't know. Oh, one of those traps I've read so much about. <laughs> um, what now? now we're out of knockpicks, so this could be bad. Well, let's try it. Nice. That went surprisingly well. Uh, the bull whip. Very well. Who is that for? Mason flail. Oh, we didn't get the better flail for him. Actually, we can do that. Got some new. Dur -dur -dur. I need 163. Let's sell that. Actually. I don't know. Yes. She probably can't use it. He can. Yeah, I don't really need it. Or the hatchet. Okay. We'll All set that. There. And sell the mace. Okay, we're done. I'm swear. I swear we're done. Farewell. Farewell. This is also a nice place to rest up here. I don't think you can get attacked by um, random enemies while you're up here. They will spawn, I think, but you won't get attacked in the night. Okay, I think we might have to go past that central room again. Oh, my oh gosh, he's still here. Uh, I was not expecting him to still be here. I don't know if we can run around him either. Huh. With pleasure. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna run. Now I I've thought about trying I like I've even tried this before. I've tried to get him to follow you all the way to Burrs. Um Because if you got that to happen and Burrs attacked him as well, if it'd be a lot so. fairer fight and the Gregor would almost certainly die. Because Burrs is just a badass. Um if you do try to fight him, he summons these tree elementals. I do just a ton of damage. I think they're like level 7 or level 10, somewhere in there. Now they're gonna. Oh, is he gonna turn around? With pleasure. Nah, he's gonna retreat. With pleasure. I'm sorry, this is really tedious, but if we tried to fight him, I just. I don't think there's any way we could win. I don't know, maybe I'll. I'll give it a few goes here. After we recover our stamina a little bit. 
Maybe if we rest, he'll go back to his original location. Because he's supposed to be, like, in the middle of that room. Not out in the hallway. I'm not sure, though, if he will. If he doesn't, we might just have to try to kill him. And if somebody dies, we do have three resurrection powders, so it's not a huge deal. As long as we kill him. You know. Okay, so he's gonna be right here. Okay. Look, cool. So we can just slide on by here. Now, this is kind of a tough fight, too. Prepare for battle. But not nearly as hard. And this will help us level up a little bit. We're gonna back up. With pleasure. Now, it's it's interesting in this game, they could have just put all these roaches in one group of nine, but they broke them up into three groups of three, you know, three come out of each, uh, like, I don't know, coffin, it's not really a coffin, but in this morgue here or whatever. And we can only target one group at one Good time pleasure. with one sleep spell, so that's why it's kind of nice to have multiple sleep spells. Uh, let's do web. But for web, it's like a cone shape. So it's another thing they've kind of borrowed from D and D, and hopefully that web doesn't backfire on us. But it's good to know we can just slide past the Gregor now, and some of those will try to go around us, but they'll probably come back by the time we get these guys killed. See, enemies in this game, you know, they're not completely dumb. They know when something's going on. There we go. And those enemies are over there, and they all fell asleep. If you saw the text down here. Some of them will come back now that there's an opening. With pleasure. Uh, we'll cast With on pleasure. this group. I pray. Might as well do an energy blast. With pleasure. With pleasure. Nice. Alright, so all the ones over there are asleep. Well, this one is anyway, but here's one of the non sleeping ones. Thanks for the heal, I guess. Yes. Oh no, the great. Okay, so the Gregor is in this fight now, too, so we gotta run away before he gets over here. Hopefully he doesn't... Oh, he's behind us. Great. Yeah, that's not gonna penetrate. If you say so. Alright, so the roaches over here are all asleep. She's gonna die. Damn. She was a oh, they're all attacking the Gregor. I didn't want that to happen. It might just be impossible to keep the mage alive at this point. I don't know. I really should have told them to attack the roaches. Well, they are actually hitting, which is surprising. He's gonna die, though. Yes. He gets three hits. It's ridiculous. Oh dear. I'm injured. Let's try yes. to get out of here. Hopefully he doesn't attack. This is what Wizardry 8 is like on Expert, folks. <laughs> Uh, and we're all gonna go unconscious here soon. So everybody's stamina is going down. If you say so. If we're able to run away, though. Interestingly, I'm not sure if if he like rest and come back. I'm not sure if he gets his health back, but I see he probably does. Now these roaches will probably follow us longer than the Gregor will. I'm on it. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, maybe not. <sighs> I absolutely 
I must get some rest. No, it's okay. You're fine. Uh, it's got four hit points. Just kill it. Okay, the Gregor's running away. Come on. Okay. Cool. Wow, much better. Yes. We're probably just gonna have to use a resurrection powder on her. I don't know what else to do. We will get some experience here. We are victorious. Not really. How exciting. Oh, much better. Okay. Well, we didn't get out of it unscathed by any means, but we got out of it, I guess. And we're gonna have to take a rest here, right after we do this. Uh, yeah, speed's good. Um, okay. The ranger. Um. Okay. I'm going to make a separate save here. I'm just going to call it Gregor. I'll rest. Okay, we didn't get attacked. All set. And we gotta use one of these on her. You have my appreciation. We've got two left. I'll have her use a potion. Alright. Save again. I should have made a separate save. Cause our other save is quick save. <laughs> uh Man, this game drives me nuts sometimes. All right, let's kill these guys before the Gregor gets back. This will be over in no. Yeah. With pleasure. I think there's like a fourth roach, and then the Gregor, and I think we're just gonna have to grin and bear killing the Gregor. If we are able to kill it, we will be able to get some more resurrection potions really quickly. So if anybody dies, like if more than two people die, it'll be okay. I hope. Come on. Nice. Yes. All right. Sword skill went up. Save again. Um, there's one roach down there, and the Gregor's Potential coming. Danger here. Well, we're just gonna have to fight him. Is he like stuck in that corner? I, Alcazar. I think he might be stuck in that corner. This. Oh, okay, maybe not. Is trouble. Yeah, I know. Of course, we wasted our bless spell. I do it again. Uh, if we can get him webbed, With it'll pleasure. be game over for him. But uh, where do we want to put people? I think this is about the best configuration we're gonna get. So, With pleasure. put him to sleep. Just please do something. Oh my god, it worked. Now, he won't be webbed for very long, but th we have a much better chance of hitting him now. Okay, so his hit points do go all the way back up. But now we've got Bless on. And we can do... Yes. If we do Berserk here and hit him, it'll do like 40 damage. Uh, damn, I'm excited now. 
With pleasure. Energy blast. Pray. Uh, Do some damage. With pleasure. Come on, multiple hits. Let's do it. I can't believe that web worked. That was amazing. Come on, Berserk. Ah, oh, missed. Alright, so he's not webbed anymore, but he's got less than half his health. Uh With pleasure. With pleasure. Just keep trying. Paralyze. Aye. Paralyze has worked before, so. Yes. All right. We can do it, guys. Two damage. It's good. Nice. Come on. Alcazar. Not so much. With pleasure. All right. Try again. She doesn't have much energy blast left, but uh, have him heal. Come on, man! She does a lot. If you couldn't tell, mages are pretty awesome in this game. You just can't have like a whole party full of them. Now she's unconscious, so she's not going to be able to block some easily. Um, at least stamina on her. Aye. What else can we do? We can terror. Try to get some range damage in. Nice. Nope. Come on. Uh, use a stamina potion. With pleasure. Uh, I think we have a better chance of putting him to sleep with the mage right now. With pleasure. Oh, cast bless again. Jesus Christ. Aye. Sometimes I just forget. Man, she's the all-star right now. Come on. Nice. <laughs> I don't think he's hit him all combat. That's okay. We'll just have him heal. Yes. And it should go down this turn. I hope. I. <sighs> Come on, team. Three damage. Go, fairy. Um, Illness. Yes. <laughs> I'm still alive. I know. I'm surprised too. It's an honor to be recognized. Darling, I just keep getting better and better. I feel much better. Oh, he got rid of his poison too. Oh my god. Let's go kill that Roche and then this part will be over. I thought there was another one anyway. I must be crazy. Okay. Not terrible. Wow. Yeah, so that's... Oh, there it is. Follow me to I was gonna... What the heck was it doing in the corner? Aye. Nice. He finally gets a hit. Yes? She have darts now. Yeah. I don't know why I like giving her darts, but I do. They're faster. Okay. He needs, like, more accuracy somehow. Close in range combat. It might be because his intelligence is so low. Or it could be senses. I'm not sure. But I always have this problem with fighters. There. And the bard. Stamina. I've decided I do kind of want somebody for locks and traps uh, until we learn knock.
Okay, woo, well, that was a bit of an ordeal, but we only actually went through one resurrection powder. So all things considered, that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> um, but uh, thank you for watching if you've watched all of this. Uh, my name's Nick Burnham and I will see you in part four. Bye.